Unit 3, Time Value of Money, Lecture 5, Annuities, Part B. We're going to look now at calculating the future value of an annuity and we're going to apply the principle of value additivity to this. And as you can see in this slide, we have a generalized formula for the future value of an annuity. So carrying on with our example from the previous lecture where we had a five-year annuity which paid a hundred rand at the end of each of the five years. Here we again using a discount rate of 10% per year. Using our generalized formula from the previous slide, our future value works out to 610 rand and 51 cents. Once again, if we break down the detail, I think this slide again demonstrates the concept of value additivity in much greater detail and you can see that when we're calculating the future value and we're taking all of those values to the end of year five, the first hundred rand earns interest for four years because the payment is made at the end of the first year. The second payment earns interest for three years and if you look at the last payment it actually doesn't earn any interest at all because the last payment is made at exactly the same time as the um, value of the entire investment is calculated. So altogether we get a value of 610 Rand and 51 cents at the end of five years. Again, as in the previous lecture, when we looked at present values, we can find a closed form solution for the sum or the future value of those annuity payments at the end of n years and we see that now in the slide. And using that formula along with the information, the 100 Rand annuity per year, the 10% discount rate and the term of five years, we get our future value of 610 Rand and 51 cents. And to make your life really easy, and I would very much recommend this, Using your financial calculator, input n equals to 5, i over y equals to 10, pmt equals to minus 100, and with the click of a button, your future value falls out at 610 rand and 51 cents. Up to now, the annuities we have looked at have their payments at the end of each period. In our example, we had a five-year annuity which paid 100 Rand at the end of each of the five years. Another type of annuity is an annuity due. And the difference between an annuity due and a regular annuity is that the payments for an annuity due are paid at the start of each period. So if we retain the example that we have, which is an annuity, five years, 100 Rand payment each year, then an annuity due would have each of those payments take place at the start of each year. Now to find the present value of an annuity due, we would do it in a similar way to that for a regular annuity with one exception. If you go back to the timeline and you have a careful look at the timeline, you will notice that the first payment for an annuity due occurs at time zero. So we don't actually have to discount that payment. So if we treat an annuity due, a five-year annuity due, as a four-year regular annuity to which we add the first payment, we will be able to find the value of our annuity or the present value of our annuity due. So using a combination of the closed form formula for a regular annuity and adding the payment made at time zero, we will be able to arrive at the value for the present value of an annuity due. So calculating the present value for a four-year regular annuity plus the additional 100 Rand payment made at the beginning of the time period, we end up with the present value for the five-year annuity due of 416 Rand and 98 cents. However, you could instead use your financial calculator, but you must remember to set it to begin mode, looking at the second row from the top, the first button, 
set as MAR. Below that you will see begin slash end. If you click on the orange arrow and select begin, the calculator is now set to go. So if you are in begin mode, you input n is equal to 5, i over y equal to 10, payment equals to 100, your present value comes out as 416 rand and 98 cents. In order to calculate the future value of an annuity due, we can treat it as a regular annuity, but then we need to take it one more period forward. If we look at the example we've been using up until now, which is the five year annuity paying 100 rand each year, as we can see from the timeline below, the 100 rand payment takes place at the beginning of each period. Now, in the case of a regular annuity, if we calculated this future value, it would take us only until the end of year four, but this is a five year annuity, so we need that extra year, and to get us over into that last year, we add one year's interest more than we already have. And applying this formula, we end up with a future value of 671 rand and 56 cents. Once again though, for a problem like this, I would recommend the use of your financial calculator. Please be aware that it must be set to begin mode for you to get your correct answer. Setting it to begin mode and putting n equal to 5, i over y equal to 10, payment to minus 100, you end up with a future value of 671 rand and 56 cents.